Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to discuss the keyword traded instrument, but uh, for the option PNL that we have under traded instrument keyword. All right. So how how to calculate PNL for a particular leg and how it's getting recorded in notification logs? That's what we will see right now. So as you can see, this is the strategy that I created today: traded instrument PNL, uh, deployed on 29th May, and today it has taken certain trades. So it has taken trade in this uh, particular straddle, 36,000 call and put. And I have opened like three tabs. So two tabs are of the same uh, strategy, same deployed page. Uh, in one tab, we will see the notification log. In one tab, we will check the trades. And uh, in another tab, we will check the conditions of the strategy. All right. So this is the uh, strategy. And I've opened the conditions based on which I've created the strategy. So let me just take you through the strategy that we have created. So it's basically a very simple straddle. Uh, what you have put is a time condition that is 917 and uh, less than 919. That is two minutes time. Uh, the net quantity should be equal to zero for 111 leg. 111 is basically the call option that we have sold and 112 will be the put option that we have sold. So this is basically the 111 leg set number one, uh, condition number one entry and leg number one. That is the call option. And this is the leg number two. So that is the ATM call option and the ATM put option. All right, so that is what we have sold in uh, set number one. Now, in repair ones, for the first repair ones, what we have done is we are checking that the net quantity of 112, that is the put leg, should not be equal to zero. That means there should be an open leg and that the leg number one and two should have been traded. So that is basically strike of 111 and 112 have been traded. So once it is traded and that the, there is an open quantity of put option, then we are checking for the PNL of only the the call leg, all right. So over here we are checking only the PNL of 111 and 111, all right. Uh, so either it should be greater than 200 or less than 200. Then it will uh, exit the basically the uh, the call option. Then it will exit this call option that is uh, strike number 111, as you can see over here, all right. That is basically this call option. It will square out. Similarly, there is another repair once where we are checking. That the net quantity of 111 that is call option is not equal to zero that means it's open and then in that case we are checking that the pnl of uh, 112 that is put option should be either greater than 200 or should be less than uh, minus 200 all right so whenever that happens then in that case the put option will be squared off and if at all uh, uh, one of the legs is squared off then the second leg will be squared off through this particular uh, exit option, uh, set exit option, where we are checking that the net quantity should be equal to zero for one one one, and that uh, the PNL should be either greater for uh, the greater than two hundred or less than uh, minus two hundred. All right. So uh, for for both of the legs, so this is for the put side and this is for the call side. Same formula, just that we are checking which leg has closed out. All right. So we will just see the logs now. So this is basically the notification log. I'll just go to the first page. So as you can see over here, this is the notification log. We'll check it with our entry condition. So that way it will be better to understand. So our entry condition is that the time should be between 9.17 and 9.19. And that is true over here. Nine time is between 9.17 and 9.19. The time was at that time 9.17. All right. And uh, at the same time, we are checking that the net quantity of 111 should be zero, right? That is the uh, condition. Net quantity of 111 should be zero and 112 should also be zero. So that's the reason why both these conditions are true and hence it took a trade at 917. So now entry condition satisfied, it took the call and put trade. So at 917.15 am, that is after 15 seconds, we saw that this repair uh, condition was, uh, repair once condition at 917.15. 15 am was triggered for the call option. So that's the reason why as you can see over here now we will see the trade that has happened. All right. So trade over here if you see the call option. If you see it traded at 917 am and at 917 15 uh, that is 15 seconds later there was a repair condition. But why would why did that happen. So if you see the sold price was 364 and the bought price was 355.55. That means uh, the trigger condition uh, should have met, right? So that's what we will check now. So as you can see, our, basically our PNL condition for the repair condition of call was that there should be the PNL should be either greater than 200 or less than uh, minus 200. So as you can see over here, the 
in this particular uh, repair once the log says that the pnl entry pnl of 111 was 216.250 and we had put a target of 200 so since this condition was true and it is in or condition or condition that's the reason why this condition was true and that's the reason why it repaired and so and squared of the call position all right and then after that at again at 9 17 pm uh, 58 am what happened was uh, wait one second let me open the notification now again for this i will have to go to the first page uh, yeah so 9 17 58 am there was another condition that was true for the uh, this is true for the uh, for the put side so where the exit condition got met right so if you see the set exit at 917 happened uh, once again i'll just show the trade so at 917 uh, am there was an entry of this call option again but that was because the put option had also squared off so as you can see at 917 again it took entry for the uh, put option and 917 uh, uh, 58 am it showed an exit so it again the, this is just uh, uh, the sequencing uh, difference that you know the time is the same so first exit happened and then it again took entry right so at 9:17:58 a why did it take an exit is what we are going to see now so in this deployed page if you see the notification log over here it says that the pnl condition was that it should either be less than 200 right but at 9:17:17:58 uh, the pnl was less than uh, minus 200 it was minus 214 so we can see the prices also over here that when it entered at 917 the price was uh, 398 right and then it moved to 407 so shorted at 398 and moved at 407 that is basically how uh, it met the condition of exit for that particular pnl all right so our condition was for the put side whenever the call option had square has been squared off through repair once then we are checking for the put option of uh, uh, pnl so that is basically it should be either 200 or less than minus 200 so in this case it was already less than minus 200 that is minus 200 that's the reason why the set exit happened and this particular put option got squared off and this cycle again continued again and again so that is how we can basically check the logs to for the traded instrument pnl condition and how it is used in this particular strategy Uh, with or condition as well as uh, how it's actually calculated uh, through via and it can be seen via notification logs so i hope this is this is clear uh, if you need any more uh, details then we will be creating more videos like this for each and every keyword so that will be helpful so yeah thank you very much everyone yeah.